What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Let me show you guys a quick update on the car. So there's my sister's Civic over there, 10th gen Civic Coupe. And here is my baby. So swap back on the STI wheels for the summertime. So I did get the uh, Eibach Sportline Springs. It's gonna give me about one and a half inch drop, maybe more. Got the Rocket Bunny V1 GT wing. Valenti tail lights. Got the uh, rally armor. Mud flaps. I'm sorry guys, my car is really dirty right now. But as you guys can see, the weather is super gloomy right now. So there's really no point of washing it. Cause it's just gonna get dirty again. So. Today's video. Today's video is a really, really, really exciting one. Actually, I'll show you guys right now. So, I have, I'm running the current stock exhaust. Now, this is the larger exhaust tips that came from the factory for the 15 plus models. This is a 2015 BRZ Series Blue Edition. So, first thing that I don't like about this exhaust or the stock exhaust is that it could stick out a little bit further, right? Like. It's like literally sitting inside the rear diffuser panel. So that's one thing I really don't like about this exhaust, other than the fact that it doesn't sound too good. It sounds like a little wimpy, little wimpy car. So we're gonna get that fixed today. I am going to be installing with my friend Lewis the NVIDIA N1 catback exhaust. So yeah, this is gonna be the video. If you guys are from Toronto, I got this extra low profile jack. I was gonna get the low pros, but I figured that I might as well get the extra lows because I am gonna be dropping my car and I'm afraid that the low pros aren't going to fit underneath the car anyway after the drop. So today I'll be unboxing the NVIDIA N1 that's gonna be inside this big box, it's super heavy. And I did also get the Eibach Sportline Springs, which will be installed in another video. It will be installed in a couple days actually. So let's get unboxing. This is super exciting. But it's better that you got a cat back than just the muffler. Yeah. Because I figured I'm gonna do a little bit more to it. That just. This is so exciting. Jeez. So, guys, I did pay a little bit more to get the titanium tip uh, <laughs> tips. Um, it did cost about. 100, I think 80 to 100 dollars more, but it would look really nice sticking out of this. It's gonna stick out probably this much. So it's gonna look really good. It's gonna make the, the uh, rear of my car look a little bit more aggressive. So here it is. Damn. Well, I did get some jack stands. Um, they were really cheap, only about 30, 35 dollars I think, 32 dollars. At Princess Auto, so everything I got basically is from Princess Auto. The uh, the extra low pro jack and the jack stands. So just take a look at the detail for the uh, welding on these pipes. It looks this clean. This one's like beautiful. Damn. I really like the amount of detail they put into their exhausts. I'm really excited to see the actual tips. Take a look at that quality. So you guys are probably gonna be wondering how it sounds stock and how it sounds after we fully install the NVIDIA N1. So let me do some sound clip comparisons for you guys. So this is what it sounds like stock. I did take this car out for a spin today, so it's not going to be a cold start. So let's see how it she sounds.
So as you guys can see, it didn't sound that good. I am looking for a deeper tone, so I'm hoping that that's what the NVIDIA N1 will be able to achieve. All right, you guys, I hope you guys are excited as I am. So here is the setup. I really, really, really like the detail that they put into the weld. Like, take a look at that. That looks beautiful. Everything, every little detail. All right, just an update. So we put the rears on jack stands already. We might go a little bit higher just so that it's easier access for us. But the rear, the entire rear is on jack stands, so we're gonna do the front now, and then we'll get started. Alright guys, just a little bit of an update, so um, I don't think we would have been able to fit in there if we just left the jack stands at what they were at before. So what we did was we basically jacked it up a little bit higher and now we have the jack sitting at the rear diff and we have the jack stands just for just in case if anything goes wrong. But essentially we're going to be coming in here and we're going to be working from inside out because the mufflers um, the bolts are all too rusty so we're gonna have to deal with that later so we're just gonna be do undoing this right over here all right you guys I can barely fit in here my chest is almost touching the lower body panels but I'll try to get as much as I can for you guys. So we just basically undid this bolt um, that's supposed to be right over here, but it just like broke off because it was too rusty. So like the head just ripped right out. So now we're just gonna be undoing this one on this side. All right, in the end, both of the, uh, the heads just broke right off, which is not a bad thing because um, it saves us time and it came with hardware anyway, so now we're just spraying with WD-40 the hangers so that we can get them off more smoothly. Okay, so lucky for us, the hangers came out pretty easily with a little bit of um, WD-40 but this one's pretty much off so it's just hanging on a little bit there um, Lewis is working on the other one we got another three in there and uh, the exhaust should fall right off okay sweet so we got pretty much all the hangers off the exhaust is chill in there right now so now we just got the ones for the uh, mufflers and then they should come right off oh, I want that just like this. or how about we do your side first sure. let that drop and then and then that way you can hold the other side Watch it, baby. Yeah, let's go. No wonder this thing is so big. So when you get rusty. 
rust proof? Does it protect this thing from rusting? Success! So we finally got the stock exhaust off. <sighs> Pretty much this is what it is. If anybody in Toronto wants to buy this off of me, I'm gonna sell it for super cheap. So now we're gonna install this beauty over here. All right guys, side by side comparison of stock versus NVIDIA N1. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect these two first. So they gave us three gaskets in the, uh, in the bag. So we're gonna use one here and one on each side. And then for this one, we're just gonna use the stock one, which is still on the car right now. All right, you guys, so um, we were just about to install the mid pipe until we realized that they only provided the hardware for the uh, the muffler and and that's pretty much it. They didn't provide it for the uh, mid pipe connection. So we are going to have to go to Home Depot to grab the necessary parts that we need before we can continue. So <laughs> I'm gonna get my sister to watch all our stuff. All right guys, so we just got back from Home Depot. We basically just made our own little custom bolts, nuts, and washer and spring combination to get the mid pipe connected. And there's no leaks, we did a test, so um, everything looks good in there. So I'll try to show you guys the setup that we did. So basically we put a washer and a spring and a washer and a nut on the other side, just like that. And we did a test startup and there was no leak. So everything sounded really good. So we're just working on the mufflers right now, or the tips, sorry. And it does stick out quite a lot. A lot more than what the stock tips did. All right guys, about how long did it take? Around like two, three hours. But uh, it would have been a lot faster guys, but we just didn't have the right parts so we did have to go to Home Depot. But we're gonna get a startup. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get a nice little Start up for you guys and a couple revs just to test it out. So there we have it guys, the NVIDIA N1 is officially installed thanks to the help of Lewis as well. So we're gonna drop this thing, get the jack stands off and do a couple drive-by clips for you guys and a couple pull clips for you guys.
Alright you guys, so I just finished filming the audio clips of my NVIDIA N1 catback exhaust and it ended up being a big fail because I just realized that my camera quality, the mic is actually really really bad. So I'm probably going to have to invest in a better mic so that I can film better sound quality for you guys. But until the next time, I'm probably going to have to redo it. If you guys want to hear what it sounds like, there's other YouTube videos on what it sounds like. But if you guys wanted to hear specifically what my car sounds like, then Definitely hit that subscribe button because I will be buying a new mic. Actually, I'll probably order one tonight, <laughs> so hopefully it'll come soon. Um, leave a like if you like my current build. Definitely stay tuned for more mods because this entire summer I'm going to be putting on a lot of stuff on this car. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.